X-Men. All right, we have arrived at the Infinite Factory to rescue Guardian, who is uh, apparently just right here. So, mission accomplished. And then uh, we were also going to destroy it, so I guess we'll get around to that part now, huh? Guardian, we heard you might be here. What happened? I was sent to destroy this factory, but they captured me shortly after I arrived. Luckily, a spy for Department H is here. He just set me free. You're hurt. Go to the Weapon X facility. It's where we've set up camp. No, I'm staying until this factory is shut down. I can't go with you, so give me a radio and I'll help you out as you go. I've had a thorough briefing on this facility. So how should we start? You'll have to destroy three sections of this plant. Fusion core, engineering, and genetic processing. Also, keep an eye out for a security card Department H gave me. I hid it just before I was captured. That card could unlock a number of devices for you. Okay. Thanks, Guardian. Hero of Canada. Okay. So, I wasn't expecting to just find him immediately. Don't forget, you have to destroy the fusion core, engineering, and genetic processing areas before you can advance any further in the Infinite Factory. Okay, so we just gotta punch stuff and it explodes. What's going on at this facility? This is the Infinite Factory. It's a genetic assembly line where Apocalypse's soldiers are created. So his army is comprised entirely of nameless clones? Yes. And their one mission in life is to fight for their master, Apocalypse. I can't decide if I like his voice or not. It's good, but it seems like his, his, he's reading it just kind of bored. Who runs the Infinite Factory? It's more a matter of what than who. A supercomputer is the boss here. It's based on the intelligence of Mr. Sinister. It thinks just like Mr. Sinister? According to Department H, it's every bit as devious and cunning as the man it's patterned after. Aren't you a member of Alpha Flight? I'm their leader. Not that I set out to be. I had picked Wolverine to be the head of Alpha Flight, but for some reason he decided to quit the team. Who are some of the other members of your team? Buck, Sasquatch, Shaman, and my wife, Vindicator. But you might know her as Heather Hudson. Why would Wolverine... I mean, I, I don't know. I, I saw the cartoon episode uh, from the 90s cartoon, but why would you think Wolverine would be a good leader? I mean, don't get me wrong. Wolverine, great fighter. Tough as nails. Little impulsive? Just a little. So you know Wolverine? A little too well. When my wife and I first encountered Logan in a Canadian forest, he was crazed. More animal than man. But we nursed him back to health. And during that time, he and I became like brothers. And that was when you invited him to join your wife in a thruple? Okay. And that was when you invited him to join Alpha Flight? Yes, and he did extremely well. Probably the best I've ever seen. But he began to grow distant and he eventually quit to join the X-Men. What really bugs me is, he never told me why. I was gonna say it's because you're Canadian, but he's Canadian too, so that doesn't really make sense. Thanks for the information, Guardian. Anytime I can be of help, just let me know. Uh, okay, these look weird. Man, this place is very futuristic and wonky looking. It looks looks like an alien spaceship, like a Borg sp spaceship from like Star Trek. What was that? I don't know what that was. This must be the security pass that belonged to Guardian. He said it'd be useful in dealing with locked devices. He also said he hid it, but it looks like he just kind of threw it into a corner. That was the worst hiding spot ever. He hid it like 10 feet from the entrance where he's standing. 
Uh, okay, we already know about the invulnerable shields. We learned about that from the last episode. What is this? Oh my god. This guy looks so mean. Okay, he's not letting me hit the whole combo. There we go. And then he died instantly when he when he lost his shield. Oh, you know what? I was going to switch out Bishop, and I completely forgot. Ow. Okay. I also completely forgot how to play this game. So, so uh, that's, that's great. There we go. Oh. Oh, these, these guys are going to keep spawning, aren't they? Okay, we're good. They stopped. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. That looks kind of scary, the fire. Not sure what that's about. Let's just... Oh, that's that's a person! <laughs> Who looks suspiciously like an enemy. I panicked. I can't grab that guy. Nope. Exactly. Nope. Can't grab him. Uh, hello, Agent McKenzie. Wait. I am on your side. My name is Robert McKenzie. I am a special agent for Department H. Too late. I already just decked you right in the face. So you're the one who helped Guardian escape? We. Oui, but now I am the one who needs help. The worst French-Canadian accent ever. I came here to steal the genetic plans Monsieur Sinister developed for the Infinite Soldier, but security has been alerted to my presence. I cannot move without being caught. We'll get them for you. He does kind of sound like Frenchie from The Boys, though, if you've ever watched The Boys. Très bon. There is a console nearby that contains the information. You should have little trouble finding it. All right. Infinite Spy needs code. Huh. We just arrived in engineering, Guardian. How do we shut this section down? You'll have to deactivate the oil pumps. Why do they have pumps in engineering? Oil is purified in engineering, then fed to the machinery throughout the factory. So disabling the pumps would throw a monkey wrench into the entire works around here. Most definitely. The problem is those pumps are extremely tough. The only way to damage them would be to overload them with power. How can we do that? I don't know where we could get a large amount of power. It's not like we have a person that can summon lightning with us. You'll have to overdrive the system. But before that, you have to locate the console that deactivates the safety override. Thanks, Guardian. Okay, so find a terminal so that we can do stuff to other terminals. Got it. Anything in this corner? No. What? What? Oh my. Okay. They're mental resistant, which is good. I'm pretty good, aren't I? Oh, I was going to say, I don't have a mental character, but Scarlet Witch's damage is mental, isn't it? At least some of it is. Maybe not all of it. Blasted punch. Oh, look at this big guy, Hercules. And he's down. Oh, there you go. Oh, he didn't keep going. He hit an invisible floor. My immersion's destroyed now. What you got here? Hello, sir. Okay. There we go. Uh, Bishop, Storm, you, uh, feel like, uh, joining in here? There we go. Oh, God. 
You can already... I remember the, like, the traps in the first game. The AI was awful at dealing with them. And look at it. Every time it turns on, you can just feel their AI panicking. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay. Storm took a little bit of damage. I stupidly walked into both of those after talking about how dumb the AI was. And apparently, I could just fly over it the whole time anyway. So... Who's the idiot now? It's it's me. Oh, that's a lot of robots. A lot of robots. Oh, that felt good. Immune to elemental and immune to energy. Not immune to getting punched in the face. Oh. Okay, what's going on here? This looks curious. Dodge that. Pedo through. Oh, look at that. It's like I've been playing this game for a while or something. Hello, sir. Ow. Health regen. Well, I can handle that with a punch. Ooh, he dropped a lot of health. Ow. <laughs> so satisfying hitting multiple people with torpedo. Um, Forcer Droid. You need an aspirin, huh? Um, we did unlock Scarlet Witch's second extreme power. Pleasant dreams, y'all. Which is uh, regeneration or rejuvenation or something? Yes. Uh, we don't really. Well, I guess sure we are kind of low on health. Yes. Let's see what it revitalize. Let's see what it looks like when we do it. Revitalize. That was a little underwhelming. You bet. Um, it restores all your health and raises your max health temporarily. And I, I want to say that's it. I don't think you regenerate health or anything. Maybe you do. Uh -oh. That's a big guy. That's a dead guy. Okay. What do we got here? Security console. The security console is currently locked down. Okay. So I think we gotta get another console before that one. That's fair. Is that the best y'all can do? Yeah. Just when it was getting oh. fun. Oh, that guy drained all of my power. That is the worst. They drain it so fast. It's like instantly. As soon as you walk into their aura, you're done. Oh. Those laser beams hurt. Realize who you were messing with. Yeah. Um. I think those count as energy damage, right? So let's just let's switch to bishop. Do some bishop-like things. Uh, pop up. I like how Scarlet Witch just stands there and just takes it. He's just wailing away. Uh, question for the experts. Does the computer-controlled AI partners know how to deal with, like, the special shields? Like, that guy was pop-up resistant, right? So he couldn't take damage until he got hit with pop-up combo? 
the computer allies just wail on him like normal, right? Because they're dumb. I'm assuming, right? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. This power distribution console cannot initiate an overload until the safety override has been deactivated. Security console has been unlocked. You now have to go back to it for no reason. Guardian, where can we find the safety override so we can use this power distribution console? There should be a security console somewhere in that area, but you also might be able to supercharge a generator near you. That would circumvent the whole process. Ooh, well that sounds like fun. I mean, I know where the security console is, but... I mean, blowing stuff up... That always sounds fun. And I have someone that I think can okay. supercharge it right after we open this X chest. Tech bits. And what is, what is this? Is it Toad's Gloves? Don't care about that. And let's hit it with some lightning. What happens when you hit a generator with lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. Kind of. Guardian, we overloaded the system by supercharging this battery. Congratulations. You've just destroyed the pumps. You're done in the engineering section now. Hmm. Uh, that's pretty easy, actually. Got it. I was expecting it to be longer. A teleporter? I bet this would take us back to the center of the infinite factory. How very convenient of Apocalypse to leave this here. Yeah! This is some real power! Well, I just got destroyed. There we go. Okay. Quit just when it was getting fun! That it? Any more? Okay. All right, let's go this way. We got a console. There, we have the genetic code Mackenzie wanted. Let's get it back to him so he can get out of here. Well, that was. Wait, 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 one second, one second. All right, if we are where I think we are. All right, here's the console that Mackenzie was having so much trouble getting to, right? Seriously, bro, it's down the hallway. You couldn't just go get it? You have no idea how this will aid us if Department H is able to find a weakness in the infinites. You're welcome. Now go ahead and get out of here. We're gonna shut this factory down. Bonchas, and thank you again. Consider us even, since you saved Guardian. I can't believe the console is literally just down the hallway. Uh, Alright, what's, what's this one gonna be? Uh, fusion core. 